Let's talk a little bit more about internet calendars and internet calendar subscriptions. Really, internet calendars are calendars that are shared over the internet, and Microsoft does offer a free calendar publishing service using Office Online, and it comes with two meg of space, I believe. Let's pretend, okay, that we've got a gardening calendar with a bunch of information on here, and we want to publish this out to the internet using a internet calendar subscription service. Now, the nice thing about this is that you can control who has access to this or if you want it to be completely open. The thing about using the Office Online internet calendar subscription service is that the other people have to have a Microsoft Live ID, used to be the Microsoft Passport ID, I think. Anyway, if you already have something like that, if you already have a Hotmail account, that kind of thing, then you already have one of those. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on this gardening calendar and I'll say publish to internet and I'm going to say publish to office online and I can choose what's the whole calendar, full detail, limited details, anyone can view and search for this calendar on office online or only invited users can view this calendar in the advanced area. We have upload method, automatic uploads, upload updates periodically, a single upload, which means updates will not be uploaded. You have a, a checkbox that you can include details of items marked private, and the update frequency is really based on the server's frequency. And we're just going to keep that as default, and I'm going to say OK. And I'll say OK. And it says that your, the calendar was published successfully and it's wanting to know if I want to send a sharing invitation to let people access the calendar that I published. So I'm just going to go ahead and say yes. And I'm going to go ahead and address this. A shared. Outlook calendar on the internet. And I'm going to send this. Now, if we go to Office Online, I'm going to need to log in. And these are the different calendars that I have available via the calendar sharing service. And it tells me how much I've already used of my storage space. And I can add and remove users. I can take a look at what the calendar looks like. So the gardening calendar. So this way, the person that I invited to be able to see this will be able to take a look at this calendar item. When they get the email, they'll be able to subscribe to the internet calendar right away, or they can just uh, look at it in their browser. So it makes it really easy for you to share your calendar information out to a web-based calendar using this nice free service that Microsoft offers. There are other calendar sharing services available and you would want to check that out. But this is highly integrated with Outlook 2007, so it just makes it really easy to set it up. You don't have to do a lot of work. But again, it's just a really nice feature.